Oh boys! A mandatory eat if you're ever in the New Orleans area. Manny Fresh eats like 20 of these a day. There's a couple of ways to do it, but we're frying ours up with some battered shrimp and a homemade remoulade that'll take what some people say is an overrated sandwich to the next level. First, we're gonna make our Creole seasoning and this you could use for so many other dishes, so don't mind the proportions here. We've got five tablespoons of paprika, three tablespoons of salt, two tablespoons of onion powder, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of dried oregano, two tablespoons of dried basil, one tablespoon dried thyme, one tablespoon black pepper, one tablespoon white pepper, one tablespoon cayenne pepper. I transferred my Creole mix to a spice grinder. You can also use a coffee grinder if you have one. Um, and I gave it a few pulses just to break it up more because uh, of those coarse herbs that I had in it. And I just wanted it to be a little bit more finer, but you don't have to do this. This is totally optional. Give that a mix and you'll have plenty of seasoning that should last in an airtight container for months and months. This would be good on like salmon or anything that needs a good Creole kick. Now for our remoulade sauce. This is just a jazzed up mayo with nice Creole spices. We'll take a cup of mayo and mix in a tablespoon of either Creole mustard or whole grain mustard. If you can find it, definitely go Creole. I just had whole grain already on hand. Then we'll add one tablespoon of prepared horseradish. Make sure it's prepared horseradish and not horseradish sauce. Add a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, two teaspoons of Louisiana hot sauce. I'm using crystal here. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, one clove of garlic minced, and then finally one big heaping tablespoon of our Creole seasoning that we just made. Mix it all up and as always, allow it to sit in the fridge for a little bit so those flavors can come together. You're gonna to absolutely love this sauce. It's good just dipping the shrimp in or even making like some french fries and dipping those in there. I've actually found that a lot of places don't use remoulade sauce on their po' boys, at least outside of New Orleans. Um, and I think that's why the sandwich gets a bad rep for being overrated because then it's just plain like blackened shrimp or on some like lettuce and tomato in and like a tough bread. So it's definitely not good that way. But with the remoulade sauce, Mwah, magnifique. And it definitely will take this sandwich over the top. Now for our shrimp. I'm using a pound of jumbo shrimp here because I had it already in the freezer. Make sure the shell is off along with the tail and the vein removed. I'm going in with about a tablespoon of our Louisiana hot sauce and a tablespoon of just regular yellow mustard. Don't skip this step. I know a lot of us will see an ingredient we don't like and skip it, but I promise you, you will not taste it at all if you're someone who hates mustard. It's just gonna help bring out the best of these flavors. We'll also add in a tablespoon of our Creole seasoning and finally, one lightly beaten egg. Give it all a mix and let it sit for about 10 minutes. I just left mine out on the counter, but if you want to, you can put it in the fridge. This will allow everything to come together as our batter and allow these seasonings to work their way onto the shrimp. Now for our flour, I did about one cup of all-purpose flour and added three tablespoons of cornstarch. Um, you could do a mixture of cornmeal and flour or any combination. I've seen some people just use like the fish fry stuff. It's up to you. I'm trying to be better about using things that I already have at home. So my apologies to the po' boy purists out there that are shaking their heads. Get your shrimp and shake off any excess batter and then throw it into a container with your flour. Give everything a nice shake and all your shrimp should be coated nicely. Double check because sometimes if you overcrowd the container, it can leave naked spots on the shrimp. When they are properly coated though, they should look like this. So continue on if you have to do this in batches like I did. I placed mine on a baking sheet while I finished everything up. And on to the frying. I've got some vegetable oil heating up in my deep fryer at 350. You can also just do this in a Dutch oven if you want to, or you could even shallow fry these. And then we'll just pop these bad boys in for about four minutes or until golden brown. Shrimp cook extremely fast so they don't need to sit in the oil for long. Transfer them to a cooling rack so the excess oil can drip off and then it's time to make our sandwich. I was lucky enough to find some French bread that was partially baked already and then I could just finish it off in the oven. Um, in New Orleans, they use French bread, but the story goes that French bread baked in New Orleans gets something special from the humidity in the air. So it's tough to get outside of there and have it be the same experience. So that is at least what I've been told. But for those of us who don't live in New Orleans, you could use a French baguette um, and kind of slice it open. Or if you don't have that, you could go sub roll or whatever. I mean, hell, it's your sandwich. You could throw it in a hot dog bun if you want to. But I was lucky to find this, so let's build it. A layer of remoulade goes down then some shredded lettuce, our shrimp, our tomatoes, some more remoulade sauce, cause I like my sandwiches saucy. And then our top bread along with a nice pressing down and that completes our po' boy. I hope you enjoy and let me know in the comments how you make yours. Oh, and of course I was drinking bourbon. I forgot to show that, but it just felt right for this recipe. Poor Choice of Kitchen, see y'all very soon. And don't forget we have a Patreon down in the link. $1 a month is all we ask for and it will help greatly contribute and support this channel. So drink up with me.